Hello, my name is Jeremy Erickson, and I will be showing you how to check the valve body, input drum, and pump of your transmission. Right here, we have the transmission pan off, exposing the transmission filter and the valve. Now we're going to take off all the packs and switches to the valve body, and all these uh, bolts are ten. So Normally we would set this in ATV and let it set, but since this gasket has already been bad, uh, we're just going to leave it as is. take out all the screws of the pump, and then under here, pry up with a pry bar or a long screwdriver. Here we have our output drum, and before we uh, take out the output drum, you want to push in this pin and pull it out of this side. And then we can remove our band. and we can pull our output drum. Right. So on top of our output drum, we have our reverse drum. And then we want to take the output drum to a vise or a hole in the table. Set it in our vise and put it on that tampered metal. And now we can check our drum. On the output shaft, there will be three uh, to six holes on it for the coil packs to actually um, compress and with the frictions and steels. Normally, through these ports would be transmission fluid, but we're gonna simulate that with air pressure to see if the clutches move at all. So, go to the first hole in the, in the output shaft, check it. I can hear a uh, thumping, and normally you want it pointing away from you so that if there is something wrong with this drum it shoots out that way instead of actually going into you. Um, then we're going to go to our second one. Again I can feel it, feel it engaging.
Then we go to our last one. A good seal on it. And you can even see in here it engaging with the drum. And now we're going to be checking the valves and check bars in the valve pipe. And in order to do this, you want to take a small pocket screwdriver or a pick and not hitting the board into your valve body and for each valve you want to try to just move them enough and make sure all of them are moving in the valve body. If it's stuck then you would want to take the valve out and see if there's any scratches on the actual board where the cylinder meets the outside of the valve body where it sits and if it is scratched or something then you want to replace the valve and also the spring with it. For sloppy shifting, the springs could be the problem that are in your valve body. And also, if you see into this valve body that we have here, these check balls are lubricated with a grease which is not supposed to actually be in there. Normally, for the check balls, you want to have the transmission fluid of this transmission and a petroleum jelly mix with 50 50. And then you would set the check ball into where it's supposed to go. When pulling out one of these valves, you want to look at the end of where the valve sits, and in here will be a sort of retaining pin. And for this one, you would want to pry up on this retaining pin and make sure everything is held down with your finger because these springs can be under tension. So you pull out the retainer and then you would start pulling out uh, all the other components in the valve body. And in order to do that, you want to take your pick again and gently without scratching the outside of where the valve sits into the valve body, pull out each of the valves. And in doing this process, every time you take one out, you want to also check the bore, make sure that there's no scratches or anything. And this one slid out fine, so I'm not gonna worry about any of that having scratches. I'm just set it aside. And we're gonna keep on pulling out each of the valves and inspecting them. And every time you take out a valve, you want to place them in order. Also, when taking out these valves, you want to do only one at a time so you don't lose any pieces that go in here. So these springs are actually what control your shift. The feeling of your shift, so you always want to make sure that they're taunt, and if you can, just replace them, uh, it would be a good idea to do so while everything's already apart. Especially if there's a problem with your valve, because if there's a problem with the valve, you just want to replace basically the entire valve. The last part is installing this valve. This part can be very tedious with having the frictions and steels of this drum line up with the uh, planetary gear in this drum. Basically what you want to do is sit it into the transmission 
Take your pliers, put it on the spline part, which is um, tampered steel. And you'll take it, try to like lift up a little bit on this, as well as shaking. And what this is doing is lining up the frictions and steels with the other drum underneath. And as you shake it, it should set down farther into the transmission. So now that the output drum is seated into the other drum underneath it, we're going to take the reverse drum and put this right on top of the output. And again, with the process of turning it, trying to put the steels and frictions on the other drum. After we have the reverse drum on, we can take the band and essentially there's a lock right in there and then there's a locking pin that we pulled out uh, previously. So we'll take the band, put it around it, try to push it into that lock. Once we have it there, we can take the locking pin, line up the locking pin with the transmission band, Then once that's lined up with that hole, you can stick this in. Holding the band there, and we can tap this back into the band. The last part that I want to show is putting the pump on, which is just taking it and seeing where the transmission filter goes into the housing. It goes right here, down here, so we're going to line the transmission filter port up with this fold down here. It should set in there very easily. A couple taps with the mallet on the front, and it should set right into there. And as you can see, we can take the filter, and we should just be able to slide it right into it. So that looks good. this video on some of the components of the DM transmission. Hope you learned something. I'm Dan from JTEC.